Take one. These are the songs sung to me. No, wait. All these songs were about me. It started with the notion of time. In my bedroom, the world shut down. The songs always tell me it's too late or it's never too late. Time won't be kind. Time is cruel. Time waits for no one. And for me, still sitting in a chair, it meant that I wanted to coexist in another way. The world closed down. I slept like a teen, like a black backside on the wings of a gull, afraid of talking. I wonder where I went as everything else changed, its natural ways dependent upon myself. The pouring rain reminding me of years in another country. I'm agoraphobic and the way I used to deal with it was by becoming someone else. That way every uncomfortable situation could happen or have happened to someone else. I never understood how to speak, I mean, uh, articulate the words, and my voice always felt awkward. What I said, I mean, always felt awkward, and I guess everyone has it like that, hearing your voice on recordings or on a video or something like that. But as for me, I always struggle to put the concept of the words into sounds, into sentences. I always doubt whatever comes out of my mind, my mouth. And the constant doubt leads to constant revisions of the sentences in the moment. And my lungs, my stomach, my throat, my lips, my tongue work so hard to collaborate, but the process is, the process as a whole just doesn't seem to work all the time. It's not that I stutter, but my brain always scrambles the phenomena before they turn into coherent sentences. I sometimes sometimes think that there's a reason that I would rather write or rather would talk to an animal because I will get the freedom to choose the words that fit in the moment so that I can reveal or hide as I please. But maybe the words I choose in a poem or in text or to tell, I don't know, a dog is hiding something. And maybe these video notes or whatever you want to call it will help in helping me 
understand how I speak or how I speak about what I think about.